Hey, it's Susan, and I just received about a week ago my first Octavia box. It has 22 boxes of fuels and a whole bunch of handy dandy other things. So let's go through them and I'll show you what I picked and why I picked them. And I've had it for a week, so I can also tell you if things taste good or not and how easy or difficult this has been so far. And I'll show you the other, you know, books and booklets and helpful little doodads in it that should prove helpful. Let, let's get right to it. So here is the mother load. These are 22 boxes of what Octavia calls fuels and you eat these five times a day. So I'm gonna quickly go through these and tell you what I got. So I put them in these little clusters of uh, kind of tastes and you know breakfast snacky type things or dinner lunchy type things. And also savory versus sweet was kind of important. So let's start here. So this is the Octavia home style chicken flavored vegetable noodle soup. I really like this as is. You just add water and it's quite a thick soup. You can add more water to it to make it uh, less thick, but I like it as is. I have also used it to make crackers and pancakes slash waffles, believe it or not. I have a lot of videos coming up about hacks, so look out for those. This is a rustic uh, tomato herb uh, penne pasta. Not a huge fan of this, but you know what? Most people are. So if you like Italian and tomato, E tasting things, that's awesome. What I do to make them taste better is I make them into flatbread um, in a little mini waffle maker. Now I have four boxes of smashed potatoes. These are just mashed potatoes. They come in sour cream and chai flavor and also come in roasted garlic creamy flavor. So I have two boxes of each and I actually piled them um, to boxes in front of two other duplicates so it's easy to access and then I also got two boxes of the cheesy buttermilk cheddar mac so it's mac and cheese now do I love this in its original form I do not at the moment I am one of those people who loves like really ridiculously good old-fashioned southern mac and cheese that my aunties make and um yeah you can't really compare to that so what I do with these which is a total game changer I actually um make them into uh, bread. I'll show you how to do that as well. That is coming up in a video very soon. And then I put a laughing cow cheese wedge in it and it makes a grilled cheese. So those are kind of my savory, you know, carb-like things in my fuels. And then we wanna move over to my crunchy things. I like crunch. So these are the sm smoky barbecue crunchers, delicious. They taste, they, they're a lot in that, um, little bag and I love these for on the go. Same thing goes for the zesty cheddar and Italian herb crunchers and the honey mustard and onion sticks. All three of these things, like if you are on the go running errands um, or don't feel like, you know, adding water and spending the whole two or three minutes uh, microwaving something, you can do this. Uh, in addition, I also got two boxes of the cinnamon sugar sticks. They are delicious. To me, they taste like cinnamon toast crunch, but in a heartier, thicker uh, pretzel-like form. So I got two boxes and I do not regret that. That was good. What I do kind of regret is getting this. This is the Red Berry Crunchy O cereal. I think I don't know why I ordered this. Um, I do like Cheerios normally, but these are kind of like weird tasting Fruit Loops. So I think it's just not my jam in general. So so, so that was not a good pick, but that's okay because I know now that, that that's the only one that I was thinking, wow, that is not my taste. Otherwise, I'm doing a pretty good job so far. And then we get to the desserty type of things. So I got a box of this decadent chocolate brownie. It is good on its own, but let me tell you, I made something that is akin to a Reese's peanut butter cup. It was so easy. There's no cooking or microwaving or anything. You actually just, um, you add a uh, peanut butter powder and you make the brownie as is, you layer them and you freeze them. I will make a video on that for you too, but that is delicious and literally so yummy. It's good to be able to have like a candy candy barish option. Uh, chewy chocolate chip cookie. I eat this either as raw cookie dough or as a chocolate chip cookie and I really have enjoyed that. Now this made my eyes roll back to the back of my head. This is a tropical fruit smoothie. If you like tropical fruit, like tropical smoothie cafe, yes. You know, and smoothies that are fruit flavored, this is amazing. It's so yummy. It tastes like, you know, all the delicious fruits of Hawaii, but in a smoothie consistency. And let me tell you, it actually has the consistency of a slushy. So good with ice. And then 
Uh, this also, I was telling a girlfriend of mine uh, that I almost started speaking in tongues when I tasted the Frosty Mint Chocolate Soft Serve. So I thought it was gonna be like an ice cream thing, but no, it's kind of like a Wendy's Frosty, but better because it tastes minty and it's just, I, the consistency is amazing. You can manipulate like how thick you want it to be with more ice, but I make it exactly as instructions say, and these are my two favorites by far. They're just so yummy and just really, really nice, especially as a treat. And then I also got two boxes of pancakes. I got the golden pancakes and the golden chocolate chip pancakes. Love these. I make them as pancakes, just like the directions say, or, you know, with the same ingredients, just adding water. I will put them in the waffle iron as well and make them into waffles. And then there's this old fashioned maple and brown sugar oatmeal. I like eating this by itself with just water or mixing it with water. And then I um, have a little hack for making it, making it into an oatmeal cookie. So yeah, those are my fuels. And uh, again, I like all of them and I categorize them. I kind of have the savory things over here so I know when to grab them. I have the crunchy things over here, the dessert things up front, and then I have uh, the breakfast type things. So putting them into these little categories helps me to easily grab them. And what I do is at night, I grab five because you have five per day and I just put them out um, for the day so that I know kind of that I'll have a balance of savory and sweet and also, you know, crunchy and soft. And in your first box, you also get this Optivia shaker. I have not used it yet just because um, I have this really cool uh, individual personalized blender thing, so I use that instead. But if I'm ever on the go, this would be really convenient. So it's nice that we get that. Uh, really, really nice. And it has one of those metal like ball things that really mixes up and emulsifies your powder uh, with your liquid, which I like. And then it also comes with these two books. So the Dr. Ace Habits of Health and the Your Life book. These are things that I think we're going to start getting into after our first week or so, I think. Uh, but so far in my first uh, week, I haven't read these, but instead I have read the guidebook, which is literally like your Octavia Bible. Let's look into that. So now that you've seen all of the fuels, you've heard something about this lean and green meal. So Octavia has the five in one program, which is five fuels a day and then one lean and green meal. So I made myself a little binder with a couple of important things in it. First of all, in this binder, there is this um, Optivia guidebook, which I'm gonna actually take you through in a second. But also in this binder I have, as you can see here, I have all these lean and green recipes that my, um, my coach gave me. So lots of different things, lots of different recipes, as you can see here, that are, you know, meat-based, vegetarian-based, uh, seafood-based, yada, yada, yada. So lots of cool recipes there, so I put them in a binder. And then there is also something called the vegetable uh, conversion chart, as you can see here. Yes, vegetable conversion chart. And what I love about this is that it actually has, um, you know, like if you have for a vegetable, like is it supposed to be weighed if it is cooked or if it is um, raw? And it'll have all these different variations. And it also has, you know, cups and ounces and grams. So that's super helpful. There is also this condiment list. So um, that's really helpful for the lean and green meals, depending on and I'll show you in the guidebook the list of meats, but depending on what you choose as your protein, you can have one or two additional fats a day. And then you can also have up to three condiments a day. And there's a couple pages of condiments that are acceptable on the program. So that's really cool. And I keep that in the binder and also a list of healthy fats. So it's a nice resource. These are things that my coach gave me. And so I just decided to put them in this binder just to have them all in one place, easy to access. And also I just have, you know, things like my little grocery list of things I need to get every week so that I know every week. I've only done it for one week. <laughs> so I know what to get and I can just take that with me to the store. Now getting back to this. So this is amazing. This is the Optivia uh, guide. This is what you basically will base everything on. This is the most, most important thing in your box. Uh, so let's go through this very, very quickly. So first of all, it kind of tells you, you go through it, and it shows you, it welcomes you, daily support, six steps to optimal health, and then it explains the op, um, optimal five-in-one plan, 
what a lean and green meal is, which is super duper important on page 17, and then how you transition off this diet into maintenance to a three and three plan and additional resources and support, and also a journal. So for me, here are the things that are in the uh, guidebook that is amazing, that I think is the most important thing for you to read and focus on, and especially in the beginning. And so my favorite section start on, on page 17, which is what is a lean and green meal? Because there's a lot of information and really cool handy dandy charts that you just reference. And then also on page, what page is this? Uh, la, 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 la. On page 30 is the journal. So let's go and check those out right now. So on page 17, it basically will tell you what a lean and green meal is. So it basically tells you, you know, this is what it should um, consist of. You should have a lean protein and you should have a, a healthy fat. And then on the very next page, this is amazing. See, if you can look on this, it shows you exactly, I think you might be seeing it backwards, but you get the point. It shows you exactly what's a lean, leaner, leanest type of protein. And then it'll also let you know how many uh, additional fats, zero, one, or two, that you need to add to your meal. And then it tells you what a he healthy fat serving is. And also for your green, which is your carb, it'll tell you kind of low, moderate, or higher carb uh, options to choose from. And most of the time, you can have a half a cup or a cup of veggies. Um, I have never uh, had more water. Eight, you have to drink a minimum of 64 ounces uh, every single day. I felt like I was drowning. <laughs> in water oh my goodness and oh, i was going to the restroom quite a bit but um yeah veggies too i was just like this is so much food oh my goodness anywho you can also have optional snacks so this is a list of optional snacks that you can have um i've actually not utilized any of these uh the first couple of days it was really hard for me to eat all of the lean and green and all the five fuels the packets were kind of small so i was just like oh this is nothing this is dust this is so little but honestly um they're super filling and satisfying so I've I, I had a hard time even eating my three leading greens so I didn't even touch these and I've been on it exactly a week today actually and yeah no not but you can if you want to but um, I just utilize the condiments actually are my my fun thing to do and then let me show you the journal really quickly so this journal I think is super awesome so this is a journal that basically mine is filled in and I have lots of notes on it, but it's a journal where you can track, see, you can track your five fuels a day and then also your eight glasses of water and you can write, you know, what times you had it and little notes and whatnot. And what's great about this is that there is a journal for all four weeks of your first month on Optivia, which I think is cool. And it has um, little tips on what to do for each day to motivate you. So here's what it looks like for week two, which I haven't touched yet because I'm only on just finished week one. And uh, as you can see for weeks one, two, three, and four, there are these quick tips. These quick tips, which I think are really nice to kind of say, hey, let's add this new habit or have you ever thought about this? And I think that's really inspiring. And yeah, so this is your guidebook. And here is, um, yeah, there's some more tips here. There's a week four journal. They're, you know, in different colors. It's cute. It's handy. I will say this though. For me, I definitely am the kind of person who loses my keys a lot. And I wasn't so great at, uh, keeping this with me. Like the first week I definitely, you know, was like, that's great. But yesterday I created my own journal and I have a video coming up on that that I think you will appreciate. And so I just made my own kind of template for my daily journal that I, that I actually um, made in a Google Doc and then I can access it on my phone because I always have my phone with me. I will lose my keys but I will never lose my phone. So that's it. Yes, that is everything that you get in your Optivia first box. So I hope you like this unboxing. I hope it gave you some kind of clue as to what you will get if you choose to use Optivia. I've been really happy. I have been on it for a week, a week now. And I have to admit, it's just really cool. So I have lots of good little videos on food hacks, on taste tests, on what kind of tools are really helpful to have around. And just in general, uh, I might even do some what I eat in day videos. So look 
definitely forward to those things. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I will definitely be back often and we can go through this together. It'll be fun. Let's do this. So yeah, I'm Susan. I'm out, but I'm excited to be on Optavia. Join me, why don't you? I'll see you really soon. Bye.